Hey there, William. It's Amy. I spoke to you yesterday. Here's the video we talked about. I'm a local business owner just like yourself, and I know COVID's really hurt some businesses. You said business has been strong again since June, and that is awesome. I'm going to show you what you can do to get more customers through your door. So I'm just going to jump in and start going through what I see and where I think you can get the most value. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start getting more customers through your door, okay? The very first thing I want to go over is your website, what we call content. When someone searches for Movers Spring Text, Google crawls websites on the internet searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords, it's looking for what should this site be found for. So when I go through here, I see that you have some nice photos on your site and a beautiful layout. I see a little bit of content. Not a whole lot of content. One thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. So Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your sites, we're probably sitting at about 550 or so words on this page. So adding 950 words of content with keywords that you're trying to target is going to help you get found for those keywords. We'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second. But not only does Google just look at your site, but when Google comes into your site, they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have any keyword specific things on here. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at a competitor. So when I looked up Movers Spring Text, these guys came up. And when we start scrolling through their website, we see content here, pictures, and they have about a thousand words on here. Very beatable in terms of content. So what does all this mean? Well, this right here is a tool I use called Arefs. It allows me to see every keyword you're ranking for, how much traffic you get into your site. And we can see here that you're getting found for 19 keywords and you're getting one person a month to your website. So there's your website, okay? So, when we jump in here and we look at your competitor, they're getting found, so this is their spring text page, okay? So they're getting found for 40 keywords, and they're getting 183 people a month to their website. And when we go in and we look at keywords, we can see movers, spring text, 300 clicks a month. They're sitting on the first page of Google for that one, mover spring text, this is singular mover spring text, 250 clicks a month, they're also sitting on the first page of Google there, movers spring, 150 clicks a month, they're also sitting on the first page of Google for that. So just with those three keywords alone, that's 700 clicks that you're missing out on, okay? So once we do the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on your site, the next thing is to go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much, let's say another moving site from Houston, Spring, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field, moving. Linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works, it's like a popularity contest back in high school, right? The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google that you are, and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out, and we look, we're looking here, this is their home page. So they have 348 referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it. And not all backlinks are created equal, right? So getting a link from Starbucks linking to you is not going to be as powerful as a storage or trucking company or something like that linking back to you. To tell Google that you're relevant, you're in the right niche, and you're popular. That's what we want to go after, okay? So we have about 348 referring domains. We don't want to get the same amount as them when it comes to links. We want to beat them by 20 or 30 links to really start beating out the competition, to outrank them, and to take that traffic. And then last but not least, I want to go over the third thing we need to go get, and that's what we call citations. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the map pack before. And then right below the map pack is what we call organic. Now, I looked through and I found advanced movers on page six, which puts you at number 58. Keep in mind that the top three organically ranked sites on Google will take 80% of the traffic. To get to the top of organic, we've got to get those keywords up, we've got to get all the links coming into your site, and then to get into this map pack right here, we have to go after what we call citations. And a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yext, CityStar, all those directories that are out there, we want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google you're legit. So we go over here to another resource I use called whitespark.ca. I did a report and I found the top listing on MapPack and it looks like he has 69 citations and then you have 23 right now. So when you come into the MapPack and you click on view all, I found advanced 
apartment movers at number 14. I'll just show you. There you are. Okay. And our goal is to be right over here in this top three position. The other 20% of the clicks on Google go to the top three position on the map pack. Okay. So once again, we went over content. We got to get content on your site. You've got a great looking site, but we got to get the keyword relevant content on there. And then once we have that, we want to go after these backlinks, right? We've got to get the backlinks up, start driving traffic to where you're getting several hundred of people a month, several, several hundred people a month to your site. And then once we have that, we want to turn around and we want to go after these citations. So those are the three things that I think have implemented today. It's really going to get you found on Google and drive more customers to your business. I've only shown you one competitor and one keyword search. There are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the moving industry that we could capture the traffic of hundreds of clicks per month that you aren't getting. All right, William, thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. Like I said earlier, my name is Amy. And if you like what you've seen and you want to chat, you can call or shoot me a text on my cell, 979-709-1593. Or you can reach me at lodestarseo.com for my contact info. Thanks so much and you have a great day.